Welcome back. We are now in chapter 9, exercise number 9, Intro to Assembly of SolidWorks 2014 video tutorial. In this chapter alone, we're going to be learning a lot of the basics. So all the features that you need to know for the assembly section of SolidWorks, I will be going over in this chapter. And there will be two extra chapters that will be actually uh, creating parts. So we'll be taking a lot of different parts and creating full assemblies from those parts. And even as far as making them mechanical, making them move uh, on their own. So we'll uh, show you how to do those in the chapters uh, going forward. Now, assembly section can be very complex, and we're not going to go through a lot of the advanced things over here. That's for the advanced DVD that we have. So if you're looking to get more advanced training, look for our advanced SolidWorks 2014 uh, video tutorial that will go over the advanced, advanced features. Things that you don't normally use, but we'll go over in the advanced sections. So again, this is an intro, and I'll be starting by opening exercise number one part. So this part we've created in our first exercise, okay? And what I'm gonna do in by the end of this uh, exercise, I just wanna show you how to bring it into the assembly mode and also bring in a half an inch socket head cap screw and maiden it to this part right here, okay? So we'll be learning uh, quite a few things uh, in this uh, exercise. A lot of different features that we'll be going over in detail in this section, in the intro section. So in the next two chapters, We'll just be focusing more, more on mating different things in different ways and trying to learn fully all about the mating in assembly section, okay? So, you got your part done. Here's your part. You got it done ready, and you're now ready to place it into SolidWorks, so in the assembly mode. So, what you need to do is come over here under File, and you can click on Make Assembly from Part, okay? If you click on that, you're going to get a assembly part without a template. Now remember, we have templates set up for our drawings and our part, but we don't have anything yet set up for our assembly. But you can do that. So click on OK. And what that does is opens up your part. Uh, it's a little bit different options over here. If you look over here on the top left, there's an assembly option. And we'll be going over most of these uh, in the tutorial. But uh, there's an assembly option over here. There's nothing over here. And you got the right symbol, a part symbol basically. On the right side of the mouse okay that's the symbol for part on the left always read the message it says select a component to insert then place it in the graphic area or hit ok to locate it at the origin uh, or design top down using a layout with a block parts may then be created from the block so one thing you can do is basically click on this part which is already highlighted and then click over here and SolidWorks will place it for you over here or you can click on ok right here and SolidWorks will create that and place it onto the origin. So now it's already a fixed part. So uh, first and foremost, the first part that you place in an assembly is your fixed part. Basically, everything else will be moving according to this part. So this part will always stay stationary. And when you bring in new parts into this assembly, you're going to be basically rotating them, doing all kinds of different things to those parts to place them according to this part. Okay, so this part will always stay stationary and i'll show you what i mean by that in a little bit okay so in this uh, section i just want to show you how to create a template from the assembly so um, just like we had in uh, previous sections for the parts and uh, um, drawings you can come down here to options which is a little bit off your screen at the bottom and you got your options menu the systems uh, options so you can come over here under document properties and same as drawing and same as part you can actually change any of the options that you like um, you know, if you want to change the units over here, sometimes if you uh, use the measuring tool and we'll go over what that is, uh, you would want to see sometimes like if it's three um, decimal places. So what I want to do is go ahead and change all my, um, th even the, the, the properties that I don't change, even the units that I don't change, the three decimal places, uh, just because this will save me in case I ever need to use one of them. I already have those done. Now this is for motion units and we won't be going over this in uh, this chapter, but we'll, let's go ahead and change it because in the later chapters we'll be going over that as well. So uh, I changed all my decimals to three. So now if I measure from distance from a part to a part, for example, I will get a, dec a uh, number with three decimal places. So let's, let's, let's just keep that at that. And if we want to change something later, we can change it. Click on OK. OK. And what you want to do right now is go ahead and click on File. All right. And click on Save As. All right, you're going to get a save as type assembly. 
All right, now if you click that down arrow and click on assembly templates, that's what you want to do. Now, we don't have anything saved on that, so let's go ahead and click on, because if you remember when we opened up the part, it gave you the option to open it, just the assembly template. We didn't have anything set up. So let's go ahead and click on VTP assembly template, and then click on save. A document which ref uh, references other documents may not be saved as a template. So click on OK. That's because we are we have a part set up in here. So what you want to do is click on click on the part and click on delete. Click yes. And now let's go ahead and save it. So remember, when you want to set up a template, you definitely want to uh, make sure that there's no parts over here. You don't want it to start out with any uh, parts that are referenced to a part. That's what it, SolidWorks was asking you. They're saying, hey, we got a part. Uh, that we're, you're referencing, uh, do you want to, we cannot save it because a template is opens up empty, which is correct. So let's go back over here, click on save as, and again, you got to save it the same as uh, we did before as a template. And as you can see, it did not save it because it's not over here. Now type in VTP. Oops, I changed the save type. So be careful when you do that. Click on that. Let's go ahead and change this to VTP assembly template and click on save and now you can see it saves it as the template okay now it saves it as a template name so what that means is you want to make sure you exit this before you use it all right and you got your part so now if you go to file and go to make assembly from part you're going to see your new option vtp assembly template so this is an extra template that we just created and we're ready to create a template so that's how you save create and save a template for in the assembly section of solidworks